So just walking along Captat here, our early morning walk before sunrise. And it's so funny because every now and again you find these abandoned buildings, probably remnants from the war. And this is a classic example of an abandoned building which is in a prime location overlooking the water here in Captat. May I jump in? Cheers. Nineteenth of September, two thousand and nineteen. We're doing a before the sunrise walk here in Kavtat Savtat, Croatia, and uh, Robin's flying out today. She's going back home to the UK. Aren't you whale.com? I'm walking. When you walk around the road of Kavtat, you'll find places like this. Really nice little restaurant places to have breakfast and lunch and all that, so it's pretty cool. Aka Pulko yeah, Beach yeah. Bar. This is cool. I've never been to this one. Look. Oh wow, look at that. That's really nice. Oh, we should come back here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Aqua Park. Oh, that's that thing I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Umbrellas are 30 kuna. Sun chairs, 40 to 45 kuna. Look at these little bars. Mm. That is so nice. That's quite clear, isn't it? One thing I noticed about Cavtat when I first arrived here is just how clear the water is. And every day, every day when you jump in the water for a swim, it's crazy just how clear it is. But as far as I'm aware, Cavtat doesn't have a proper sandy beach, just like pebbly beaches like this. And um, look at that, Rob's. So they've got sea urchins here as well, which if you step on them will really hurt you. They're those prickly black things. Um, but the water's so clear that you can see them anyway. And uh, you can typically avoid them. Um, but you should probably have like uh, swimming shoes because sometimes sea urchins uh, kind of hide under a rock, like in between rocks. And uh, yeah, you might actually accidentally step on one. I need to try I've never seen. But he's so sweet. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I love. Oh yeah, he's look how really spoiled. He he's spoiled this one. He Watch he this. Then he'll piss off. He ran. He ran to come say good morning. This is what guys. cats do. Look how beautiful they come. Is, hey? They he's get what they great. want. They leave. He looks like a little um, leopard. <laughs> <laughs> a leopard. <laughs> But it's so funny, like, the cats that you see roaming the streets here are actually not stray cats. They're all, like, really friendly, domesticated cats. I grew, up with a, I grew up with a lot of cats. So even our old Airbnb place that we came from had, like, we had our own little cat. We used to open the door and Aww. the cat would run in, start purring really? like crazy. Yeah, it's so nice. Felt like a real family. The planes are coming into land. I love that. Makes me miss flying even more. Mm -hmm. So just walking along Captat here, our early morning walk before sunrise. And it's so funny because every now and again you find these abandoned buildings, probably remnants from the war. And this is a classic example of an abandoned building which is in a prime location overlooking the water here in Captat. Look at that, look at that view. Yet, yeah, it's completely abandoned and it looks like it would be an incredible resort. And I'm very surprised, Robs, that someone hasn't come in, bought that, and made a massive resort out of it. It's just, a, it's a waste of real estate. I actually saw a word on the outside, which I photographed, you can Google it, called, it's Tokida. 1950. I don't know if that has... I've, I've oh yeah, 1950. Yeah, in Torquita there was a word, so I'll Google it and see if maybe... What that means. They'll give us some history. That's crazy though. I bet your squatters live in there though. 
It's a beautiful building. It is. It? This it looks structurally fine. It just needs look how beautiful the stone is. I love windows. The design. It needs lots of things done to it. But structurally it looks fine though. Yeah, I love the balcony. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you rip those windows fra window frames out yeah. and put new ones in. Job you could this. paint that up. Yeah. Already talking about how we can renovate this. Oh, actually, we're going to look this up. I actually think we could yeah. buy it. <laughs> buy. Yeah. If that probably belongs to Torquita 1950. Anyway, we'll come back and put put an offer down. <laughs> I got I got enough I got enough Kunas yeah. in my pocket. I'm I'm so surprised that no one's just come along. An investor. Has... No, there must be like a serious history there to but have an abandoned building like that. It's funny because when you take the boats out to, when you take a hire boat out to Dubrovnik, you'll see all these abandoned buildings. Same. Oh, this is another one. Same. Another abandoned building. Yeah, another one with a beautiful Everywhere. view of the bay. I hope everyone's taking notes so you know where you're going to come and have your lunch if you ever come to Cavtat. The one last night. Yeah, that was great. Right on the water. And we yeah. had a double table. Oh, this little so church. Nice. Yeah, that was lucky. We got that table. Do you need to go to the post office at all? Yeah. The poshta? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get a coffee from somewhere. I'm about to walk down the main restaurant street. All the restaurants are located here in Capitat. We got this place here. We can skip. Tarange. Remember that place, Robs? Where your folks and we all got together and we had those three big fish. Yeah. It's a nice place too. Yeah. Tarange. And this is where you can book all your, your boats to go to Dubrovnik and the old town. Straight through there. Okay, here we go. There's life. So nice, isn't it? She has an allergic reaction to cats. I know. I would love them, so, I love animals so much, but I just, it's, I can't, I'm just so allergic. And sometimes they're so cute, that you can't resist. And then I go and touch my eye. <laughs> Not good. Now what do we do? I'm hmm? gonna go wash my hands. That's what I've got to do. Now I have to go wash my hands too. Right. 20 million? 50 oh, million? millions. Not billions. Not billions. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple millions. <laughs> Halo Hamilton. I've got a massive omelette in front of me. I've got ham and cheese in there. I think you've just got ham. We're at La Bohemi in Cavtat. Breakfast before this one departs at 10.30. 10 yeah, but I'm not trying to. So this is our last breakfast together. And then she's going to fly away and uh, won't see you for when. We don't know yet. We don't know when we're going to see each other. No. Probably soon though, two weeks. <laughs> we'll meet up in Phuket. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, 19th of September 2019. This one's about to depart back home, going long distance again. UK. Back to the UK. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to Melbourne tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll see each other maybe in two weeks from now, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, we don't quite know yet. We don't know yet, we haven't booked a flight or anything, but um, this is just a final little video before we leave each other and this is the end of our Croatia chapter and um, it's been an amazing two weeks here. We're here for a wedding, this one's brother's wedding, amazing, really really good. Probably won't see any of those photos unfortunately. Private wedding, we'll see how we go. Have to ask for permission but nevertheless um all the previous videos pretty much sum up the adventures we've had outside of the wedding so we went to Lockroom, the island here uh we Montenegro. went to Montenegro you know nearby country Dubrovnik Dubrovnik the city the old town Lord of Thrones, uh, Lord of Game, Game of Thrones, Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> so if you love Game of Thrones and you want to come here definitely check it out and then here we are that's mm. it any final words Ah, oh, it's been amazing. Hmm? It's It really is a special place. And out of all of them, I think I actually like Savtat the most. The most. It's, mm. um, you can see why they chose this place to get married in. Mm -hmm. It's very, very special. So yeah. 
if I could advise on going anywhere in Croatia, come to this place. Mm. You'll love it. And everything's really close. Mm. So Montenegro didn't, I mean, you have to get, bear in mind, you have to get through customs and everything. That See that video, that's a fun video. Yeah. For that. Yeah. Um, but it's, everything's accessible. So just, yeah, bear in mind, it's going to cost you. A lot. It's a... Uh, Expensive. It's pricey. Europe very, is very pricey. Very. Yeah. This place costs about a hundred bucks Aussie a night, ninety-three Australian dollars a night. It's pretty basic. Yeah. I, and that's just the accommodation, like you've got. You know. But it's worth it. It's it is worth it. worth it. It is worth it. It's amazing. And planes will fly over every now and again. <laughs> Watch this. That's me. That's you, Robs. Yeah, so every 15 minutes there's a plane that lands on your roof here. Sounds like it lands on your roof here. So you got your last day here. What are you going to do, Brad? So I'll be going over to Dubrovnik, the city, the old town here again on my own because it's an overcast day. <laughs> so it costs about 20 Australian dollars for a taxi, uh, sorry, for a ferry return. <laughs> um, yeah, just to explore. There's an old abandoned hotel, Hotel Belvedere. Going to try and check that out. There'll be a separate video, but um... I'll see you in Fitness Street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to meet up in Thailand in two weeks yeah. from now. We'll be there for a month or so, and we'll be shooting videos predominantly fitness related. Mm. Lots yeah. of Pilates. Lots of Pilates and fitness stuff. So yeah, yeah if you're interested in that, then yeah, yeah, stick Come around join for that. Us it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. See you there, guys. Bye. Bye.